Welcome, my dear students, in our uh, course International Banks. And today we will explain chapter number two banking activities. In the first point, we know that there is a development in the banking sector related to the activities and the uh, uh, techniques and technology which the bank used. So, in this case, we talk about the uh, radical development and the change in the nature of banking. So, the first point when we talk about the uh, traditional activities, the first point when we talk about traditional activities, in this case, as we mentioned in the last uh, lectures, that the classical retail banks, the main sources or the main source of funding is client deposits so in this case the deposits reported on the liability side for the uh, balance sheet of any bank okay on the other hand the loans reported on the uh, asset side for the balance sheet of this bank so this is table number two one simple uh, bank balance sheet assets and liabilities so we focus on the loans loans reported on asset side and deposits reported on liability side so uh, and we define the banks that the main activity activities that accepting deposits and offering loans some countries like USA and Japan uh, determine the activities provided by the banks so in this case we talk about accepting deposits and issuing the electronic money or digital money and number three when we talk about the insurance services and another services related to investment so the bank can provide investment services like dealing in investment and managing investment and advising and administrating the investment in this case we talk about the relationship between the bank and investor another activity related to mortgage contracts in this case the mortgage contracts uh, related to the bank and we can talk about the uh, longer term contracts between the bank and the client another uh, services provided by the bank when we talk about the uh, managing collective investment and when we talk about the pension funds so some corporates like bmw bmw it's known that bmw specialize in the manufacturing and the vehicle industry and uh, recently when we talk about BMW providing some banking and uh, financial services uh, like insurance and mutual funds this problem number two one in this problem we explain the role of central bank as the uh, manager and the uh, the head in the monetary policy and in this case we talk about the uh, monetary policy and the how can the central bank use tools and measures to expand or contract the uh, credit uh, credit stock so in this case or the credit level suppose a bank has a 50 million of deposits so this is the original deposit or deposit number one Calculate the total credit that may created by the bank with the 10% legal reserve ratio or required reserve. If the central bank increased the legal reserves ratio to 20%, what about the total credit with this interpretation? Number one, we need to measure or calculate the credit multiplier. Credit multiplier equal 1 over required reserve or legal reserve. So, 1 over 10% uh, equal 10 times. So, the total credit equal 50 million 
This is the original deposit times 10 times equal 500 million. Suppose the central bank increase the required reserve or legal reserve from 10% to 20%. What about the credit multiplier? Credit multiplier equal 5 times. How we can interpret this, this value 5 times? One pound of original deposit generate one pound of original deposit generates five pounds of credit. When credit multiplier equal 10, it means that one pound of original deposit generates 10 pounds of credit. So in this case, when the central bank increase the required reserve, the uh, credit multiplier decreased and this is contraction monetary policy.